Whether you're seeding a brand new lawn for the very first time or you're overseeding and thinning out existing lawn, we're gonna give you three rules for success using three very simple tools and it doesn't even have to be as complicated as this thing. It all starts with the base. If your subsoil is hard like concrete, your new lawn doesn't stand a chance. Ideally, you must loosen up the top four inches, but a lot of people mistake that for thinking they need four inches of black dirt. Nothing could be further from the truth. The perfect lawn will have one third black dirt, one third sand, and one third compost. Once you get the subsoil ready, you can lay down your seed. Rule number two for the best long-term results, you've gotta pick the right seed right out of the gate. If you have a wide open sunny area, use a sunny mixture. But if you've got a shady area and you use this grass seed, it will sprout, it will germinate, but it will slowly die off. That's why you would need a shady mixture. So make sure you pick the right seed for the right area and you'll get the right results. Here's something most people don't know. A fox can climb straight up a nine foot high wire fence and get right out, and all sod is grown in 100% pure sun. Have you ever seen a tree out on a sod field? I don't think so. This means that if you take that sunny sod and put it in a shady area, it will continue to grow, but slowly over the course of a few years, fade away. That's why for the best results, you'll overseed that sod with a shade mixture. As the sod slowly fades away, the shade mixture will take its place, giving you the best results possible. Seed density is another area that oftentimes screws people up. A lot of times they think more is better. That's what she said. Nothing could be further from the truth. When you have too much seed in an area, what happens is it competes against the other seed. Bad, bad. Killing everything in the area. Really what I want you guys to focus on is having a nice even distribution across the entire lawn of your seed. To go a little lighter is better than to go too heavy because you can always do a second application in any thin spots or any areas that you miss. Now if you're overseeding an existing lawn, the best tools i found to use are either a walk behind spreader or a handheld broadcast spreader. You're going to set the application rate and trust that these tools are going to do the job that they're supposed to. Now if you're going to be installing a new yard for the very first time, you can use these tools or you can just use your hands. Now if I do go a little too heavy in an area, I can simply rake it out and distribute that seed into other areas. Once you're comfortable with your pattern, you can water it and let that seed germinate. Now if you're overseeding a lawn using a walk behind spreader or a handheld broadcast spreader, you're going to use the lightest application rate listed on the bag. If you're installing a brand new lawn for the very first time, you're going to use the heaviest application rate listed on the bag. And if you're just using your fingers, spirit fingers, you're just going to use common sense because it's all about the pattern. So the three points that you need to remember is prep the subgrade, choose the right seed for a sunny or shade area, and make sure you recognize the pattern is too light or too heavy. Do those three things and you should have a beautiful green lawn. If this video has helped you guys out, leave a comment down below or hit the like button. Now I gotta go see if the roof I put on will stand a chance against these two guys.